Hi everyone, let's talk about Project L, well the final version of it, and its new expansion Finesse which is on Kickstarter right now, link in the description to the campaign page so you can see all of the final stuff, or I just did a playthrough and an overview of the uh, the game so you can see it all the way through and there's the old playthrough when it was originally on Kickstarter, loads and loads of Project L. So first of all, my, my first impressions about the game in general you can see, but I, I absolutely love the concept, even though yeah, I've, I've complained about, you know, oh, it's, I'm not really into abstracts and stuff like that. Project Hell is completely abstract. You're grabbing these shapes and upgrading them and stuff for no thematic reason. But yeah, it, it's it's either, you know, the the part in me that is so keen to be tessellating. Is that the right word? They're polyominoing all of these different shapes into the special groove cards. That, that's, well, this is final uh, final version stuff but when i had the prototype originally you know it was wooden painted pieces and there was there was one example card that i think was made of wood uh, to show what the the double the dual layer ones were going to be like and everything else was just cards seeing it in its final version with all of this coming through it's absolutely beautiful with the lovely molded colored plastic pieces well I'll try to show you all of this stuff it's in the, it's in the playthrough where you can see all of uh, the nice components. It's come out really, really beautifully. It's uh, incredibly uh, stylish as well. It's like this uh, this slick, minimal thing. And and the, the player aids work beautifully, showing the progression of the pieces, uh, reminding you how many puzzles you're allowed and little areas for your supplies and stuff, really nice little touches. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, a fantastic package. And it's, it's, um, it's always lovely to see as well after you've uh, experienced it from uh, its prototype form, seeing it kind of flourish in this final thing. So yeah, I, I'm still uh, very enamored with the game itself, but seeing it pre presented like this is uh, is beautiful. So, and, and there are other expansions as well, that mini expansions like the Ghost Piece expansion sounds really cool. And there's an Ambassador expansion with a few more uh, puzzles in it as well. If you're into Project Cell, I couldn't tell you about those though. I can tell you about the Finesse expansion. So it, it's a... It's a little thing to start with, but it's it's all of these. There's there's lots of them, but it's uh, these finesse tiles, and you've just got ten of them now. So you are you're limited to ten rounds in the game. It can end sooner still if the black stack runs out, but we're going to have ten rounds, and the first two don't have any uh, abilities in them. But as soon as we hit that third round, and you can see all of them from the start of the game, as soon as we hit that third round, we are going to start earning coins if we satisfy certain conditions. So based on how many of a couple of certain pieces you have, or every time you upgrade a piece, something like that, you're going to earn more and more coins that can be spent to take extra actions or to each coin will offset one of the minus one points you would have gotten at the very end of the game. So it can be really, really powerful things. You still can't do an extra master action because master actions are already massively powerful on their own. So it's, I really love that you can see the whole game and you can kind of plan ahead for which ones you really care about and which are just coming out at the wrong time, which are coming out a bit too late for you to be bothered about. Do you really want to be spending your whole turn upgrading pieces in the very last round of the game when you could be getting a last uh, puzzle to fill up or actually being able to fill up the ones that you've already taken throughout the game? Or as if they come out early, you're probably just going to do that no problem. Do you? It's, it's a nice balance as well between you're still trying to find your way through the game and get your little engine of pieces going so you can progress to the bigger cards. But, you know, these finesse tiles are nice to pull you in a certain direction. Sometimes they'll just reward you for what you were going to do anyway, but sometimes it will be worth early on in the game just going, okay, then well, I'm just going to spend this whole turn getting puzzles rather than uh, doing anything else. It will line me up for later, but it will also give me a load of coins that I can potentially use for extra actions. So it's nice little nudges in other directions. And I know that the, the coins aren't uh, final that they're going to come out this way, but <laughs> like as prototype pieces and stuff, again, this isn't going to focus properly, is it? The playthrough has them all in there, but absolutely beautiful pieces. Well, it'll have to match the original version, won't it? But uh, yeah, it's, it's really nicely done, especially this is all prototype stuff, but yeah, there's there's loads of uh, variety in there, and there's 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 not that uh, that many different types. A lot of them concern, you know, 
how many of these shapes have you got every time you place these particular shapes but there's different configurations within that so there's a load of different tiles from those uh, those different variables and based on, yeah as i mentioned based on when they come out it's going to make a massive difference to your particular play style you can just play it you know off the hoof and just coincidentally get a load of coins but you can also really really leverage the ones that you end up going you probably don't want to go too far out of your way just to get these coins especially you know spending two coins for extra actions just to get one back from this thing you want some benefit as to doing these extra actions at the same time but they can they can really help you get a lot more done but at the same time they're not worth points at the end they are tiebreakers and they do offset those uh, points for your finishing touches actions at the very end if you need to do those but also they're worth nothing so ending up with extra ones unless there's a tie break it means that you could have you sh could and should probably have taken more actions earlier on in the game but yeah it's if you want to see the game for yourself there are there are two playthroughs on the channel now and an overview for project l in its various stages although the latest playthrough you'll still get an idea of the base game and it's got all of the finesse stuff in there as well and you get to see the final version whereas my my old playthrough fantastic as it is of course uh, is is using that uh, wooden prototype and stuff and you you definitely want to see the final version of it anyway Playthroughs are there for you to make your own mind up. Never mind what I say. Thank you very much for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.